Welcome. Let us look at the Pale Horse of the Apocalypse. The Pale Horse is first mentioned in the book of Revelation 6, 8. The Pale Horse is described as a green horse ridden by a figure known as Death, who is accompanied by Hades of the Underworld. The Pale Horse is symbolic of death and destruction, and its rider is seen as a personification of death. The book of Revelation describes the pale horse as being followed by four other horses, each with its own rider. The white horse is followed by a red horse, a black horse, and a pale green horse. The pale horse is associated with the idea of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, who are seen as harbingers of the end of the world as we know it. Simply each of these horses represents a different type of destruction in the tribulation period. The pale horse is a powerful symbol of death, and its presence is a warning to those who do not heed the warnings of God. The presence of death on the pale horse is a reminder to non-believers that God will eventually punish those who do not obey his will to this world. It is a reminder that death and destruction are a part of the tribulation, but those who face of the pale horse that are saved during the tribulation, God will be there to provide comfort and consolation. The pale horse is a powerful symbol in the Bible, representing death, destruction, and the fragility of life. The pale horse is seen as a symbol of divine retribution and judgment and is often associated with the end of an age or a time of the tribulation. This idea is relevant to our world today, as we are increasingly aware of the consequences of our actions and the importance of being prepared for difficult times that are coming. The pale horse is seen as a symbol of pestilence, death, destruction, and deadly viruses. Some may think that we are seeing the pale horse today due to world being inundated with a deadly virus of the past three years. But understand that this is only the sound of the hooves of the pale horse coming, what is about to come on the scene will be far greater and more devastating than the world has ever known. Jesus said in Matthew, and except those days had been shortened, no flesh would have been saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. If you are not saved before the tribulation comes, you will face head on the wrath of the pale horse. So please ponder and turn to Christ today. In popular culture, the pale horse has been the subject of numerous films, books, and artworks, and has become a symbol of death and destruction. The pale horse has been used as a symbol of horror and fear in films, such as The Omen and The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. In literature, the pale horse has been used to represent death, destruction, and the end of times. The pale horse has also been used as a symbol of justice and retribution as we shall soon see in the coming of Jesus Christ. No matter the context, the pale horse has been an influential figure in Christianity and has had a lasting impact on the perspective of end of days we live in. The fact that it is a horse also symbolizes the speed of death, as horses were used to travel quickly in Bible times. The pale horse is a reminder of the fragility of life and the power of death, and that even the most powerful can be overcome by death. It also serves as a precedence to us who believe to live life to the fullest, and to make the most of every day with your family and friends. Today if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can be assured you will not face the pale horse, but if you do not believe then you need to face God and repent and accept His Son as your Lord and Savior. Thank you for listening. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share. To support this ministry, please click on the link below this video. Or go to donate at, grace to May God bless you.